Randall Barrett, Central Point, Oregon. I wanted to um, start out today by again emphasizing that the, the goal that I'm pushing for the state of Oregon is to get the commissioners, the counties throughout the state to go together on some type of legal action. And so that may be a uh, class action lawsuit that everyone goes in together and sues the OPUC based on evidence that they broke the law or violated the constitutional rights, the issues. The main point that we have to get to with the U.S. Supreme Court to win this violation against our citizens is the Fourth Amendment issue of the violation of our walls of our home. The Naperville ruling, I'll get into that toward the end of my discussion, did cover that. But this thing about the opt-out fees, people are still a little bit confused about what's going on with that. And it's really major and it's important to how we're going to get to the point where we've shown that the OPUC and the power companies actually broke the law and committed extortion. So we brought up different issues about what makes the opt-out fee illegal. I'm just going to focus on just one right now, and that's the $36 per month meter reader fee. And at the commissioner's meeting, Letha Tawney, one of the OPUC commissioners, actually said at last week's meeting, she said, well, the thing I have an issue with, and this is the basis of how they're getting away with this $36 fee, is that the people that don't have those analog meters or the digital ones that you have to read, we can't put the cost of going around and having these people read these meters on them. So what they've done is now they've opened a legal door that they want to charge people differently based on what the actual costs are for their type of meter that they choose. They opened this door. What they're not letting you see, what they're hiding is the fact that this is how the New Mexico ruling why they turned the power company down because they showed that to be able to read your meters with a smart grid, to put on a computerized meter that transmits RF or some other means of transmitting your data, to put that on your home, to put the antennas up to put the infrastructure up so that they can read your meters without having a guy come out actually costs way more and it causes more load on the power grid. Nothing that they said was true in their application and approval. They keep saying that it's going to save people money. It's going to save on the power grid. Well, th this has been proved false. So if you break this up and say, well, if you have this kind of a meter, we're going to charge you to come read it. Well, then wait a minute now. You need to charge these people for these more expensive smart meters. You need to charge them for the infrastructure structure that it costs to get your meter read and that information turned in and you can't put that on us and that's how you can show that the extortive fees that the meter the meter reader fees the 137 that they were illegal they are extortive and they are punitive because they're here's what it would there this, this is where we get into the law here the PUC commissioners are bound by law in its 756.040 that the commissioners shall make use of the jurisdictional and powers of the office to protect such customers and the public generally from unjust and unreasonable exactions and practices and to obtain for them adequate services at fair and reasonable rates. So they broke the law. It's not fair. And it may seem like a really thing. Well, it's not fair. Well, nothing's fair in life, people say. Well, no, wait a minute. This is the legal wording. They are obligated by law to make sure that our rates are fair. When they're picking out one section of the pop of their customers and saying, you're going to pay these fees, but they're not charging the other customers for their costs because the law says in here it has to be cost-based. Their decisions have to be cost-based. So you can see that they're only penalizing the people that won't go along with their program. So legally, we can prove that the PUC and Pacific Power has broke the law with the fees. Now, why is that so important? Because when you get to a constitutional ruling that says, yes, you have the right to refuse computerized devices on your home. When you add to that the fact that they were forced on with extortive illegal fees, then that becomes illegal. That's coercion. They can actually have penalties legally for that, and they can be held le personally liable for breaking the law, and they did break the law. The other thing I wanted to talk about briefly this morning was about the Naperville ruling. This is going to come up. It's going to come up over and over again. It's one of the few cases, and it's recent, that it did address the Fourth Amendment issue. I've only got a minute and a half left, so I want to keep this brief. What the Naperville ruling said was that for the power company to get your power, and they're implying a total, in other words, how much power did you use, to have that turned in every 15 minutes, although it is a search based on the Fourth Amendment, they did say that, they felt it was reasonable, that it wasn't overly intrusive to do that. Here's what they missed. Number one, we had an agreement with our power companies to read our power once a month. So when they put a device on there that reads it every 15 minutes, that is violating our rights. That should have been appealed. They didn't 
didn't appeal to the Supreme Court to say, no, every 15 minutes is actually too often. That does show a pattern. It does show what's going on in your home is spying. Here's the one they didn't get to. And this is how you can win this over the Naperville ruling to take it to the Supreme Court. Here's what the judge didn't address, and I have not read it in any of the papers. When they turn your power in every 15 minutes, it's not just a total. It's not just an accumulated total like an analog meter does. They're recording your activities 100% of the time, full. They don't want to miss even one spike of power usage. They put it on the internet. You can go and look at your own full-time usage every moment what's happening. So what they're turning in every 15 minutes is a full recording of everything that's going on in your home and every device you're using. So that needs to be presented that is to the Supreme Court, that it's actually that's what the computerized device is opening up the door for is full-time spying. And we have a right to refuse that and go back to analog meters. So again, this opt-out issue is big, but we need to be, see the legal issues in this and how we can win it to move forward in a legal battle. And again, I encourage you to join with other counties and do that. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I have to refrain.